Back in the studio, we have Dr. Arnold Weiner here to talk about gallbladder stones. Thanks so much for joining me again. Thank you, Diane. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So tell us, what is uh, what are gallbladder stones? Um, the gallbladder stones is, um, put it this way, the first thing, the gallbladder is an organ and it's part of the, in medical they call it gastrointestinal tract system. Um, it's part of the intestinal system uh, where produces very important chemicals from the liver. It goes down, tracking down into the intestine to aid or to help in the digestion, breakdown of um, substances uh, at a chemical mm -hmm. level like glucose, so amino acids, uh, fats, lipids and stuff like that. So it's one of the very important chemicals uh, does that and gobble is a substance is, is a substance or is an organ that um, traps excess flow okay. from the liver into the intestine. This chemical. In the villages, uh, in the villages when I'm there in the villages, people or mom or mothers um, operate on the pig, uh, getting the intestine to mm. clean them up. And they often say that, or that even the chicken, you know, they have this green liquid. Um, yes. Yeah. They will say, oh, this is the one that, you know, ember fight up. Oh, it's the sour thing. Okay, you know, yeah. So yeah. it's not good for the food. So they have to quickly yes, remove it before yes, it's, yes, you know, right, spill. Yeah. So in human beings, we have this. Okay. That chemical is called bile. And that organ that contains this bile is called gallbladder. So gallbladder is the one that this is contained as bile in, in human beings. And how do you get gallbladder stones? So what happens is um, over time, over time, it's uh, like a reserve tank um, in the system. So excess bile, the green one, the green liquid, gets stored. Um, like what happens if you saw that for a long while, it can become semi-solid and then mm -hmm. become solid. Yeah. So from fine, like a gravel or sand, and then becomes two or three sand, couple of sands together becomes a stone. So that's how it's stones formed over time. So when stones are formed in there, it's very difficult to come out. Okay. It's very difficult. Liquid form, yes, but not in solid. So when solid, uh, like a stone, and it's called gallbladder stones, when they are formed inside, it's very difficult to be passed into the tract, uh, into the, the inside of the intestine. So it gets locked. And when it gets locked, at some point yeah, along the track, it causes infection because the bugs are there, mm. or the, the, by the green liquid itself is a chemical. It can produce infection or inflammation. Anyway, so we see patients. I see patients coming in through the clinic style. Um, say every week, I'm seeing three, average of three, both men and female, coming to the clinic with. Right side, uh, right tummy pains. Oh, okay, so that's that's one of the symptoms. That's one okay. of the symptoms. So they come in with right, say, doctor, we feel pain. Every time when you eat something or a meal, 30 minutes after meal or an hour later, they start to feel pain. Oh, on the right? On the so right side. on the right, okay. Right close to the chest. Um, okay. And over time, uh, they can get into problems with dealer fevers. If the stone gets blocked, uh, the tube, you will see some people with yellow eyes. Mm, very okay. itchy skin. Oh, okay. That's going to complication now. Is that like a severe? A severe form of okay. the, you know, the disease process. Yes. So that's where we call gallbladder stones and infection. And and how can we prevent getting gallbladder um, stones? It's also, as I said, um, it's also to do with lifestyle diseases. Okay. So eating a lot, a lot of fat meal. Okay. That's one of the things that you need to worry about, or people need to be careful about. The other thing is, um, people have genetically are prone to develop stones. Okay. So they do have stones. So they it could not, be. They may not be fat, okay. uh, yeah. but they have these genes to form stones. So, or generally speaking, in the community, you know, we have people having stones, but they don't cause problems. So they're still working around the, in the streets, okay. on the, you know, in the rural areas. In, uh, I mean in, in public places, they have stones, but it doesn't cause any problems, so they're still carrying around. Okay. So we have these people. So when they have infection and they come in, we also make sure that they don't go into complications. One, two, is we tell them that the only way they'll do is by operation.
And is there a test that you can do to check whether you have? Yeah, um, in Papua New Guinea, the best, one of the best tests is the ultrasound scan. Okay. Ultrasound scan actually picked up the stone and can locate where the stone is in the system. And is that something like a test you do on its own or do you, like, is it like a general uh, um, health? Uh, Generally, when people come with their symptoms, okay. we kind of diagnose But you can't do like a pre, routine, like a, just to no, check, no. to see? It's nice to, we, we ask them to do it, yeah. but even if they find a stone, there's nothing, they don't have the symptoms, so there's no problem. Okay. But only okay. when they have symptoms, oh, it's only, then okay. with a scan, it okay. confirms. And then the thing is that antibiotics in the meantime, but we advise them to get treatment and then surgery. And that's surgery. surgery. Okay. Okay. And is that... Uh, extensive surgery or is it just um, so simple? It is okay. quite tricky surgery um, in terms of how you approach the organ because it's quite very narrow in, in the field, yeah. in the surgical field. So it needs a little bit more experience in doing this. Uh, so we encourage them to go to a surgeon uh, who does a lot of these things or who can be able or who's qualified to do it. Otherwise um, the complications in trying to correct it surgically, um, it can cause a lot of problems also because of the structure and yeah. the location of the the gold medal. Well, I mean, thank you so much for coming in again and talking about this other lifestyle disease. So, you know, just the messaging, just to eat yeah. healthy and exercise. Yes. So, yeah, very, thank very you very important. much. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much for having me.